There's a growing trend that's turning the delivery room into a photo shoot. Good morning, Tri-State anchor Catherine Nero has the local parents who aren't relying on shaky hands and snapshots. They're calling in the pros. <gasps> ah, the delivery room. There's mom, dad, nurses, doctors, and the photographer. So cute. Look at her toes. When Laura and Dale Sanko welcomed their daughter Ainsley Mara, they hired Beautiful Beginnings Birth Photography. We saw it as a great opportunity for Dale and I to enjoy our own experience and not have to worry about Dale needing to be a Grab photographer a as well as a coach and kind of the, the stress of everything else that happens when you're having a baby. Now, while you may describe a baby as a beautiful miracle, the delivery. Okay, maybe it's not this bad, but you know what we mean. Every now and then we have the mom who wants us to get the shot of the baby coming out, the baby crowning, but for the most part, most moms are modest. They love us being there to capture that raw emotion, but they're not wanting us to be there to capture the terrible angles and the, the gore <laughs> that happens with birth. Melanie Pace and Kelly Smith, who run Beautiful Beginnings, are also mothers who actually shot each other's births. They don't bring a lot of gear, no extravagant lighting or assistance, just their camera. And for $800, they're on call 24-7 for parents-to-be. It's not really just about, like, the baby coming out. I mean, it's everything yeah. leading up to it and then, right. you know, the happiness afterward. Uh -oh. Jenny and Dan Howard's daughter, Kinley, won't just hear about her birth. Photos of her first few moments all of life right. are all over her nursery. The chance of their survival is not good. And it's those first moments that took on special meaning for Elisa and Bill yeah, Yusko. Yeah. 24 weeks into pregnancy, the couple found out their baby, Nora Rose, had the often fatal chromosomal disorder, trisomy 18. We did not know whether she would make it through delivery, so we wanted to capture the, these, these moments, this, this day of what might have been our only time with her. So one of the recommendations through other families were get good pictures because those minutes and hours, if she's born alive, may be all you have. So we wanted to do it right. Nora Rose lived, and months later, her parents called those photographs a blessing. You look at these pictures in, in the book, which, which, and of the pictures that she had taken, and you can't help but be emotional about it. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> For most parents, the decision is much simpler. Do you want a photographer up close and very personal? For those parents who say yes, those pictures turn a fleeting moment into a lasting memory. There's one question birth photographers get a lot. Where do you stand? Usually it's by the mother's head. And in fact, if they're allowed, they'll even pull the bed out from the wall and shoot from there. But it all comes down to what the mother wants, as it should. Catherine Nero, 9 News.